a tower guy wire is anchored by means of a bolt at A. The tension in the wire is 2,500 newtons. Determine the components of Fx, Fy, Fz of the force acting on the bolt, the angles Ux, Uy, Uz, defining the direction of the force. So first, let's draw an FBD. So ang kanyang y distance is 80. Yung x distance naman niya is 40. Yung z distance on the other hand is 30. Ito yun. Now since from point A to point B to, let's call this tension AB. So gawin natin yung ginawa natin before to look for its components, tabulate tayo ulit. So tension AB ta is equals to 2500 newtons. Etong mga dx, dy, dz natin, ito yung change in x, change in y, tsaka change in z. So, ang change in x ta is 40, change in y is 80, tsaka change in z is 30. Now, to get the resultant of the changes, let's look for d. d is like the Pythagorean theorem na square root of dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared. would be equal to 40 squared plus 80 squared plus 30 squared. D would be equal to 10 square root of 89. So, ito yung D natin. So, diba tension AB is a force. So, meaning my X component yan, Y component, tsaka Z component. Pero yung DX, DY, DZ, tsaka yung D, hindi yan yung components ng tension. Yan yung position niya. Change in X, change in Y, change in Z. Tsaka yung D is like the resultant of the positions. To get the formula for the X component of tension AB, Y component of tension AB, and Z component of tension AB, eto yun. Ito yung general na mukha ng formula, pero in this case, tension nga lang yung ginamit natin. So, given ang force, which is 2,500, tsaka yung nakuha na natin yung D, ito yun, tsaka yung change in X, change in Y, tsaka change in D. Meaning, makukuha mo na yung component ng tension na to. So, keep this formula in mind, guys, to solve for 3D forces. So, itabulate natin ulit. So as I said before, our F is 2,500, our DX is 40, so input everything sa calculator nyo, FX is equals to 1,060.00, FY is equals to 2,120. 0, 0.00 and our FZ is equals to 795.00 0, 0. So, ito na yung answer sa first part na components of FX, FY, FZ. To get naman the angle per component, that is cosine inverse of DX over D, cosine inverse of DY over D, and cosine inverse of DY over D. These three are again essential formulas to get the angle per component. To tabulate natin ulit and solve for each angle. Cosine inverse of dx over d is equal to cosine inverse of 40 divided by 10 square root of 89. That would be 64.91 degrees. Cosine inverse of dy over d which is equal to cosine inverse of 80 divided by 10 square root of 89. That's going to be 32.01 degrees. And our cosine inverse of dz over d is equal to cosine inverse of 30 divided by 10 square root of 89, which is 71.46 degrees. So that's our answer for part b, the angles ux, uy, and uz. So that's it.